how to make a $300 mini PC, Bitcoin node, lightning node, and sovereign computer. This is the one that I used here. This is going to be an ongoing series. I'm going to do just small, short videos of each single step so you can follow along step by step and not get overwhelmed by an hour, two hour long video, but just pick out the pieces that you want to do with this using Start OS, which is a free and open source software provided to us by Start9. Start9 actually sells hardware with this uh, operating system already flashed on it and they've done a lot of due diligence about making sure that every single piece of hardware within their servers is open source and you know the most sovereign that it can be so if this ends up being too much for you if you don't want to go the diy route even with my guide i would recommend still checking out start nine and just buying the actual hardware that they sell and included in that is a lot of support so if you do run into any sort of issues you can get a real professional to help you through this i'm a diy enthusiast i'm a bitcoiner but i'm learning as i go and i am you know um, making sure that i relay all the potential problems that you might have and all of the solutions that i found to them my name is forrest hodel i'm a bitcoin educator and coach and you can actually book me for a one-on-one -on -one bitcoin consult if you want some help with best practices security needs and what have you and the link for that is in the description now let's get into this this is the uh, dreamcast this is 300 dollars canadian so you could probably get something equivalent to this for around 200 dollars us so let's take a look here this is the listing of this specific um, mini pc although many others will work you'll just want to make sure that you have the right amount of specs to do so so the cpu on this is the intel n150 which has four cores four threads it's not top of the line this is sort of just above middle of the range for a mini pc we have 16 gigabytes of ddr4 ram and a one terabyte ssd that is an m2 m.2 and basically that's about it it has a nice amount of usb ports here we're taking a look at the minimum os requirements for the start 9 diy so we need to have a single cpu core 2 gigahertz uh, 4 gigabytes of ram 64 gigabyte storage and ethernet ports and recommended is quad core which we have eight gigabytes plus ram which we have and a one terabyte storage the storage is the main thing that i would upgrade on this specific mini pc if you're in a different region where you could get a mini pc that already has a two terabyte drive or um, you could upgrade to a two terabyte drive that would really help future proof this hardware a lot more considering that the um with mine running a lightning node run, running a bitcoin node I really don't have very much space left on that hard drive because the Bitcoin node takes up so many gigabytes. That's probably all you need to know. Let's get into the install now and we're going to go step by step on flashing Start OS onto your mini PC to start you off with getting a Bitcoin node and sovereign computer set up. First thing we need to do is go to start9.com, go to docs and go to DIY, then select uh, x86 arm or just click the link in the description that will link you directly to this there's a bunch of useful information you're going to want to follow these steps step by step and the first thing you'll do is you'll go to the github release page at the near the top of the page you go down to the bottom and you'll want to select the 80 x86 64 non-free iso or the 86 uh, 64 Dot ISO. My understanding of the difference is the non-free works for some mini PCs or DIY setups that have um, some non-open source components of it. I was able to use the regular ISO file, not the non-free one, and it worked fine for my setup. On the main docs page, there will be a download for Belina Etcher as well. This is how you flash the ISO file onto uh, USB drive. Open up the Bellina Etcher, flash from file, select the ISO file, select your target, make sure that you select your USB drive and not anything else as this will format and erase the information on your hard drive if you selected that one for instance. So be very careful with what you select 
to etch this file onto. Once that's complete, you plug that into your mini PC. Now power on your mini PC, connect the ethernet cord from the back of it to your router, plug in your flash drive, and you'll probably want to change the BIOS settings as well so that it selects the USB drive to boot from instead of the hard drive, which has Windows 11 on it. So to do so, connect your mini PC to a screen and connect a keyboard to the mini PC. And usually you press delete to enter BIOS as the mini PC boots up. Then you'll want to go to your boot section and your boot option and you'll select the uh, USB drive as your option one and then you can disable the option two which will be um, the Windows boot from the hard drive. Then you'll want to restart your mini PC and it will start booting off of the flash drive. Now I ran into some issues when I first did this and there was some sort of graphic interface error or something like that and what I did was I actually unplugged the HDMI cord from the back of it and just retried it and this is what fixed it for me i don't know if it was just i was more patient with it and i allowed it to operate longer or if that was actually the solution but i'm just going to mention that in case that was again i'm not an expert with these kind of things now the way you're actually going to use this server is not using it connected to a screen with a keyboard and mouse but you're going to access it remotely through your main PC that is connected to the same network, the home Wi-Fi or internet, as the um, Start 9 is. So in the flashing guides, after you've got it all booted and started, you're going to want to go to this link here and open that up in a browser. You'll need to be a little bit patient and wait for the mini PC to show up. And then you select the main hard drive disk, install Start OS, and follow through the prompts. After it installs, it will tell you to reboot your device to begin using your Start 9, but to remove the USB stick before you do that. Remove your USB from the server and press the reboot button. So you might have to wait a while after the reboot before you're greeted with this screen. If this is a new setup, you'll want to start fresh on this page here. Select your storage device again and create a master password that logs you into the Start9 server. And this needs to be a very, very strong password. You'll be greeted with this page after here where you need to download your address info. And this will be the link to essentially access it locally or access it remotely through an Onion URL. So download this to your computer, save it in, um, you know, so that you have access to it. To make sure that everything's encrypted properly, everything is secure, you're going to need to trust your root certificate. And so you click that button afterwards. You can download your server's root certificate. And then on Start9, there will be a trusting your root certificate documentation. And you'll wanna follow this line by line word for word. And this is different for whatever operating system you're connected to using this. So for Windows, you have to download Bonjour, which is an Apple software that comes with iTunes, but you can actually just download Bonjour itself. You go to the URL that you downloaded from the uh, download address info, and that will bring you to this page here where you put in your password, and then you have access to Start OS, but you can see um, that it is not secure in the browser search area. And that's because you haven't trusted the uh, root certificate yet. So what worked for me on my computer was to search MMC in, the, in my files and run as administrator. That opens up this software here. And then I go to file, add slash remove, snap in, click certificates, click add, computer account, next, local computer, finish, then select the certificates, local computer, and press OK. Then you open this file up on the left, go to trusted root certificate authorities, then right click on certificates and press all tasks, import, and this will bring you to the import wizard. You'll press next, and then you'll browse and select your security certificate that you've downloaded already, then press next and finish. 
and the import will be successful. Now, for me, this took a little while before Start9 did become encrypted and did become uh, safe on the browser. It worked after a few refreshes and a little bit of time. Now you can start browsing the Start9 registry. You can go to the community registry and you can download all sorts of amazing apps like Bitcoin Core, Bitcoin Knots. You can create an Electrum server. You can create a local AI a lightning network, a lightning node, and Noster relays, all sorts of amazing things. And we're gonna get into those in future videos. So hopefully that was straightforward enough for you and you're able to do that. There's going to be a lot of videos on top of this, how to set up a node, how to configure something like Bitcoin knots for spam filtering, how to set up a Bitcoin lightning channel, lightning node, and all of the other amazing apps that are available on the start OS system. And again, if you've watched this video and you thought, okay, this is a little too much for me, I would just recommend checking out uh, store.start9.com and getting yourself the the server one or the server pure and that includes their customer support and they'll have you up and running and it'll be a lot more simple than even this video which was fairly simple as well if you want some one-on-one -on -one help for anything else any bitcoin uh basics you know security needs best practices this kind of stuff you can book me uh link in the description for a one-on-one -on -one client session and if you want to secure your Bitcoin, I recommend checking out the Jade and Jade Plus by Blockstream. There's an affiliate link in the description. If you want to preserve your seed phrase for future generations, check out Stamp Seed Kit and get 15% off using my code BTCNOTCRYPTO15. And last but not least, if you want to get yourself some Bitcoin, I recommend checking out Bitcoin Well. They're a non-custodial exchange, which means when you send them dollars, they send you Bitcoin directly to your Jade Plus. And uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching.